video about how and why your device overheats and lags and even have uh, FPS drop while playing PUBG Mobile. And I'm gonna give you guys the solutions as to how for that to not happen. And I found out a couple of new things as to why it does uh, since the last video. And I know full gameplays are supposed to be up by now. Just it. The reason why I'm making this video is because I couldn't get the full gameplays up because of these reasons. So yeah, again, daily giveaways. Thank you, Ariba Havis. I think I said your name right. Uh, definitely go subscribe to this person right here. Uh, I'll put their link down in the description below. Uh, and I don't completely agree with that comment, but you know what? It won, so. Um, I have to give some respect to it and yeah, uh, if you want to be shout out in the next video All you have to do is like comment subscribe turn on your notifications become an active viewer of the channel Hey for someone new I definitely recommend watching the sniper montages and the highlights we have on this channel. So yeah Now uh, bef before we start I just have to say I have a ton of of videos planned to come to this channel and I'm gonna do two back-to-back -back full gameplays just to um, it's pretty much my apology for not uploading up a uh, full gameplay yet since of this issue of overheating and lag which happened again uh, even with me doing the cooling system that I mentioned in the last video uh, but I will use like, with the new stuff that I've learned um, I will make a full gameplay that is even better than the ones planned to come to the channel and also a sniper full gameplay will be coming to the channel and more sniper montages so yeah uh, now let's just get started so last video I had mentioned uh, why and how and the solutions and I said that you have to cool your device or you have to get a better device what I learned is that for older devices your phone uh, causes to overheat from connecting to other um, devices or pieces of technology. And what I mean is by using Bluetooth or just connecting your headphones or anything like that, um, by actually even charging your phone, it causes it to overheat and actually bring huge FPS drops to the game. And the only reason I'm mentioning also lag as in like ping is because on the Chinese version, I get 300 to 500 ping every single game. It's absolutely horrible. And it's for the reason why I don't have a full gameplay up on the channel yet. I get 15 to 20 kills almost every single match. And how does it end? It ends with me dying for the reason that I just, I can't kill the last guy because the, the bullet registration is like three to five seconds off. So I, I shoot him for like 20 bullets, he shoots me for two, and I, somehow I die. And it's just completely suckish. The only issue, I mean not the only issue, the only way to solve that or resolve it is just buy an Amplify Wi-Fi system, which is, I, it's $300 and it's on Amazon, and it just upgrades your uh, MBPS to well, whatever you have now, all the way to 200, 300, maybe even 800, depending on what um, contract you have with your, uh, uh, <laughs> with your partner, like is Verizon or AT&T, whoever, you guys know what I'm saying here. So definitely buy one of those if you don't have one already or if you just don't have good internet and you live in the US and you have 300 ping in the Chinese version, honestly, I definitely recommend buying one of those. Now for, um, for lag uh, dealing with FPS drops and overheating, when you charge your device, uh, there's two reasons why it overheats and even brings FPS drops to the game. And it can bring down your FPS from 60 to 20 in just a, a, a couple minutes while charging and playing this game. Now, when you charge your device, what happens is that there's chemical reactions happening with the energy being processed and being sent to your device, which makes heat. And it overheats the phone just a little bit. Uh, it's not supposed to, you know, it only happens with uh, bad charging cables or anything like that. Sometimes it happens to even a good cable, but uh, it does happen and just brings a bit more overheating to your device while playing and so while having your phone charging playing this phone it's going to have it uh, processing all of that energy being sent to the phone and also processing the game itself 
So it's gonna be a lot of overheat. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot more than just playing the game itself rather than, than playing and charging. I mean, that, as I'm, I'm just saying, it's gonna overheat a lot more and it's going to bring those huge FPS drops, which is gonna cause an issue and definitely it's gonna cause problems to the device itself. So I'm telling you guys right now, uh, for those who play with older devices, with newer devices, I don't think there's this much of a problem, with, especially with the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10. But for older devices, most definitely do not charge your phone while playing this game. On the global version, I don't have much of a problem with it. It's only happening, you know, here and there. Of course, the um, the files of PUBG Mobile Global are getting larger, meaning that the game is definitely going to overheat more since there's so much more being processed. And then we'll start having this issue that you just can't charge your phone while playing the game. Uh, because it's going to cause huge FPS drops, but um, for now, I think it's definitely fine to do it with that. With the Chinese version, the file is just too big, honestly, especially with just getting more uh, in-game things. It's causing a lot of issues, and I definitely do not recommend um, uh, charging your phone while playing uh, this version of the game. If you're a later device than I am, I play with the iPhone 7, then for both versions, whatever you play for PUBG Mobile, I don't care, just don't charge your phone while playing this game. Um, also, I said with connecting with multiple devices, using your Bluetooth headphones or even just connecting a uh, normal pair of earbuds or anything of that. Again, it's just process the phone is processing more and more, which causes just a bit of overheat here and there, depending on the type of headphones you have or earbuds, um, especially ones that are broken but are still somehow functioning. Uh, that's definitely going to bring just a bit of overheat, and since it's processing more, it's just going to bring a bit of an FPS drop uh, to your game, uh, which, you know, for YouTubers, like, for a normal gamer, it's not going to cause much, it's probably like 2 to 5 FPS, it's not going to be too much, but for a YouTuber, like, who is trying to bring full, clean gameplay, I don't care about the graphics, I only care about the FPS. Uh, that is most definitely an issue and I just completely dislike it. So if you're going to play this game, um, I, if you're going to play this game and you just want really clean gameplay, uh, definitely do not charge your phone, especially if you're an older device, um, and do not connect your device to several other pieces of technology or devices like headphones, earbuds, you guys get what I'm saying. With the ping issue, as I said, Definitely buy uh, like a, a Wi-Fi system. I recommend the Amplify, which is like one of the best Wi-Fi systems to get. Um, this is definitely not a sponsored video, by the way. Uh, and yeah, and I'm going to be making a why. Um, uh, do I use a uh, whatever, whatever it's called? I think it's called L1, R1 controls, whatever they're called. I'm gonna make a video about that and I'm gonna tell you guys am I using it and also an emulator video. And by the way, the hand cam, it's coming at 35,000 subscribers. Again, I'm sorry guys that the gameplay is not here yet. It's because of these issues I just mentioned today. And I've been recording full gameplays since like last week. It's been a huge issue and I just found this out. And hopefully um, it's going to be resolved when I do 